I'm Amik Jones, the Director of Product Development of Rogue Fitness, and today I'm to talk to you about how to take apart, clean, and reassemble your barbell sleeve. Over time, dirt and chalk can get into the sleeve of your barbell, which can slow down the spin, so it's important to regularly clean your barbell in order to maintain optimum performance. To do that, you're going to need a few tools. First, a good set of snap ring pliers. Second, tri-flow lubricant, which can be found at most hardware stores and also most bike shops. Third, a rag. And fourth and most importantly, a pair of safety glasses. Inside your barbell are a series of snap rings and washers, which are what hold the sleeve onto the shaft. And when you take it apart, it's important to keep everything in the same order so you can put it back the way it came out. First, there's the outer snap ring. And use your snap ring pliers, find the holes, and then hold your hand over the end of the barbell in case the snap ring springs free. Second, shake your sleeve to get the end cap out. Third, you have the inner snap ring. At this point, you're going to hold your hand underneath the end of the sleeve and push the sleeve back. So the next thing to come out is a full washer. And then if you have a shim, that's where, the, that's where it'll be. Then the two half moon washers. And then the final full washer. At this point, you need to remove the sleeve and set it to the side. And wipe any of the old lubricant, any dirt or chalk off of the shaft. And then do the same thing to the bushings at each end of the sleeve. So then spray some lubricant in the two locations where the bushings make contact with the shaft. You don't need to spray any lubricant in this area because there's no contact. Then carefully slide the sleeve back onto your barbell, give it a spin to spread around the lubricant, slide it back, and as you see, I put all my hardware in a row to make it easy to get everything back in in the correct order. First, it's gonna be a full washer. Then, your two half moon washers are going to fit into the groove on the end of the shaft. You're going to hold them in place and slide the sleeve back over. And then your shim, if you have one, followed by your other full washer. Use your snap ring pliers to push those back into place. Next is going to be your first snap ring. If you take a look at the two snap rings, the inner one has more of a rectangular shape at the ends than the outer one. Squeeze it and again place your hand over it to catch it if in case it springs loose. I'm going to snap it into place, give it a spin to make sure everything's working. As you can tell, it's already spinning a lot better than it did before we cleaned it, then your end cap, and the final snap ring. Make sure everything's in place and then give it a final spin. Of course, this is only for our bushing bars. All of our bearing bars are sealed and you won't be able to perform maintenance on them yourselves. If you have any further questions, email team at roguefitness.com.